You know what? I don't even want to do an intro today, man. Let's just... Let's, I'm just going to get right to the meat of the issue, man. Like I said, my man grind hard already put the video out there. And you know what? I, I had faith in 2K. I was like, you know what? 2K is a company that cares about the consumer. They care 100% about the consumer. They don't care about VC. They don't care about other things. There's no way that 2K will put patching a VC glitch above patching everything else that's wrong with this game and that's fine we, we already gone over that i got a plethora of videos back there that you can look at with all the things that, I, that we feel like are wrong with this game but i was wrong so we're gonna check this out man check it out house rules and then high stakes is friday high stakes any up friday right okay all right 2k okay 2k let me check my phone what's this say right here Thursday, October 26th, high stakes, ante up, returns. Now, why would they take the stage away from us? We know why they're taking it away. We know exactly why they're taking the stage away. Whether you're in, there, whether you're in on the chicanery or not, you know exactly why they took the stage away for a day. I'll wait. Exactly. You know why they took the stage away for a day. And instead of putting it out, it, it wasn't even supposed to be gone today. In, in house rules normally on Friday and high stakes is normally on Thursday. 2K, if you're going to do something, at least cover it up properly. You didn't even cover it up. Y'all ain't even trying. Y'all just don't want, like, I, I don't care. I mean, you don't, you don't want people, people finessing virtual currency. That's fine. But to push this back. So, so this is what I'm guessing, guys. And this is just me guessing, just, just talking in my head or just, just talking out loud. I guarantee that the patch is coming out tomorrow, sometime, probably tomorrow morning or probably this evening. And let me tell you why I feel like that patch is coming between today and tomorrow. Because they changed and yeah, look, this is irrefutable. This is irrefutable facts that they were supposed to come out on Thursday, October 26th. What's the date? Thursday, October 26th, right? That's what the day is, right? But instead, we're getting high roll. I mean, we're getting we're getting house rules. Hey, maybe it is high rollers. That's the doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's go around here and find out. Because there's no way that they would prioritize fixing something like, like a stage issue that you all, a hole that you all left in the game. There's no way they would prioritize that over all the other holes they left in the game, right? Oh no, we know, we know that anytime 2K does not care about the consumer, period. They don't care about anything else except for their bottom line and their business, I get it. Fine, care about your bottom line. Work with your bottom line. Do whatever you have to do with your bottom line. Make it make it stand out. But to prioritize the bottom line over the con con consumer experience, look at this, house rules. This is all you see, house rules. So they took stage down. Stage was supposed to be today. High stake stage or high roll or whatever y'all want to call it. But then we get this today. So that, that just leads me to believe that, like we said, the patch was already submitted and certified, right? The patch was already submitted and certified. They, that was what Mike Wong tweeted this out the other day. The patch, I'm saying it three times, the patch has already been submitted and certified. We're only waiting on it to roll out. So if the patch addresses stage, we know what 2K is on. If it addresses that, Rather than all the other stuff that we're talking about, there's so many things that need to be addressed in this patch. But if they pulled it back or if they deploy it and then they deploy some type of update to, to address this and everything else is not addressed, we know what time 2K is on. And we've been knowing what time 2K is on, but this will, this will make it so blatantly obvious that nobody, nobody will be able to refute this. Again, I know y'all like to go back and forth with me in the comments. I just don't know how you can refute this. High stakes, any up. Not only did they not give us high stakes, but they put in a whole nother, they put in a whole other event so that you can't even use the stage. And I'm not mad, look, look. I only got two players. I only plan on making two players. I'm just, I, I don't care about the glitch or any of that stuff. I don't care. The point that I'm trying to make is that there are so many other things in this game that need to be worked on before this, but because there's a glitch that's costing them money, they're gonna fix that ASAP and do anything that they can. Not only are they gonna fix it ASAP, 
but they're gonna put the put the game in a state to where you cannot even you you can't you couldn't even do it if you wanted to right now. We'll we'll make sure that we handle that first. So it's just like if they can do that and they can do that immediately as soon as the thing went viral, like man man said, as soon as it went viral, if they could do that and make it put the game in a state, just just replace it with something else. They they, they would have done ruffles today. I bet. I bet they would have done ruffles today if they could have, if it if it wasn't already set up for Sunday or whatever. So they're like, we'll just throw, we'll just throw uh, we'll just throw. Did, did we just get finished with house rules the other day too? We'll just throw another house rules at them. I could have sworn house rules was on Friday. Uh, and then, you know, kind of went through the week. I don't know, man. I don't even go in the venue anyway. So look, check it out. Again, 2K is finessing. They don't care about the consumer. It doesn't appear that they do. The only thing that they care about is the bottom line and how we can get people to buy more and more VC. It says house rules now available at the venue. High stakes ante up Friday. And we're looking right here and it says high stakes ante up on the 26th. So like I said, man, it's clear where 2K's priorities are. Like I said, you gotta make those investors happy. Hey, forget the customers that buy the game that are the real investors. You gotta make those other investors happy. You gotta make them make them happy so they can make money and get that bottom line right. You 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 can't have you can't have customers being happy with the game. Do you think that people will be looking for glitches, looking for ways to exploit the game, looking for these things if they were happy with the product that you gave them? If people were happy with this product that you have given us, you wouldn't have the problem of people just trying to find any other way. If you hadn't done this thing where, where, I, I'm not even gonna talk about the YouTubers telling y'all to do these, these trash archetypes and stuff, but if you hadn't made one archetype so overwhelm, or a couple of, or it's not just one. If you hadn't made a couple of archetypes so overwhelmingly powerful, right? And then everybody else that uses a different archetype be use, useless, then you wouldn't have that problem because people would be happy with their player and, and, and they wouldn't be in there trying to trying to find a way, any way that they could to get more VC so that they could get, you know what I'm saying? So they could, so they could get another character. If you would let us make more VC in my career and more VC in Pro-Am and more VC in the playground, you wouldn't have that problem. But you're so stingy with everything. For crying out loud, haircuts at one point cost like a grand. Tim's cost nine grand. Why do you think people are trying to find anything they can to exploit the game? Because we don't have a year to play this game just to max out one player from 60. Nobody has that time. That's why they're doing it. If you put out a quality product, I promise you, you, wouldn't, you ain't got nobody trying to find, well, I guess they are trying to find uh, IP codes and, um, and RP codes for, for Riot Games. But for the most part, people are happy with the game, with those games. They're not trying to, it, it ain't... <laughs> 2K, you left the hole open, right? It was something that happened the last two years. It was there, and you had to fix it. But why are we? Why should we even be surprised when, when everything that's been there the last two years, you've had to go back and fix it anyway? I'm just saying that there are more important things that need to be fixed in this game than making sure that nobody was going to exploit you guys on high rollers. That's just, to me, that's just more important things to be worried about. Like I said, you got to worry about balancing archetypes. I'm not even going to talk about left, right, cheese. I'm not going to talk about any of that stuff. The only thing I'm talking about, you should, you should be worried about balancing archetypes, getting the servers to a stable condition, fixing the frame drop issues that people are still having in this game in part, what, a month and a half later? If you don't have a PlayStation Pro, you can't play park reliably. The, the only reason that I can even play part is because of that. You still haven't fixed the shots in Team Pro-Am. You still not really getting greens in there. I am because I made a new jump shot. And if you haven't seen it, go back and check out the new Duckworth jump shot. This cash. Yeah, I made a new jump shot. I'm able to cope with anything that you throw at me. But I'm just sick and tired of you all. If there's a VC glitch or anything that involves VC or, or, or something like that, you all quell it instantly. Instantly, but anything and that takes some type of programming and some type of staff to do but anything else 
that we're talking about that there's, that there's an issue in the game. If there's anything else that's wrong, you all don't, you all address that on your own time. Now I could understand because hey, if I had to go back and tell my boss that I left a hole in the game that is causing us to hemorrhage money, then I guess I would probably fix that as quickly as possible as well and prioritize. I put myself in you guys' shoes. I probably probably prioritize that above everything else because you would get exactly what you deserve to be fired. If you put something, if I created a product and it was called and that immediately caused our company to hemorrhage money. And I left it in there, and not only did I do it, but it was there for two years. I would be fired immediately. But hey, these guys do it all the time. Same engine, same everything, and you don't you don't think it's gonna have the same problems? When you guys patch the game, do you start back from the engine just right in the beginning, or do you like like like? I'm thinking if I patch 2K18. It's okay, so I would take it from the last patch of 2K18 and then move forward. You guys don't seem to do that. It's like you start with the same engine all the way back over and don't even look at what you had to patch in the last year's game. Like contested shots were an issue last year's game. This anti up was an issue last year's game. All this stuff was uh, lagging out of stage and, and lagging out of the venue. That was an issue last year. So why don't those get addressed going forward? But you always patch things at, when it's convenient. I, I can't even talk about this anymore, man, because you all are so blatantly greedy and so so not focused on the consumer that it's not even funny. I don't even understand, like, like if there was something else to play, like, y'all are really making Call of Duty look good with all that loot crates and loot boxes. Like, you took Rookie out of the game, so this you see this poor guy right here, Joe come up. What is his name? Respect the Flex. Uh, Joe, uh, the Billy McComeup right here. Billy McComeup, he had to go ask his mama, can he borrow, can he get like 10 bucks so he could get to that 69? He said 69. Look at all these 73s. They are having zero fun in my career. Unless they're slashers or they're sharpshooters or whatever. Or, or maybe they watch my video. Look at this poor 66. Lurk, Lil, Lil Dirk Nowitzki. I thought the name was Lurk Nowitzki. Probably could have been uh, Monica Nowitzki. Whatever. Anyway, this guy right here, probably had the game since launch and this is as far as he's been able to get because your VC system does not allow him to push past that. Look at this dude, man. Look at this, look at this. Mel whatever his name is, 74 overall, 69. This shouldn't be like this. You didn't even see 55 overalls and stuff like that three weeks into 2K16 become 17 because in 16 and 17, you can literally work up a player and make enough VC to get him right in three days. Speaking of VC, excuse me while I go to Brian's office to see if I have anything here, which I'm sure I don't unless it's that weak ass $10 check, uh, 10 VC check from, from Steve around the corner, which I'm gonna give right back to him when I gotta buy these boosts. Cause if you wanna be competitive, you better put on a boost. Because if you don't put on a boost, somebody that you're playing against gonna put on a boost. And then you're gonna get splashed on or snagged on or blocked or stolen or all of that. And thus you gotta spend VC by proxy. It does not make sense, uh, 2K. Why are you guys this VC hungry? Look at this poor 61. He been a 61 trying to get, trying to get 3000 VC since lunch, man. This man can't even get no VC because you ain't paying nothing. He probably averaging a D, a, a F minus in uh, my career because it's too hard to shoot. Because why? Why is it too hard to shoot for him? Why? 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 Let me show you why. Because it ain't no rookie mode. Why would you take out rookie mode? Why? The average person probably looking at this like, well, they just took out rookie mode because they didn't. No, they didn't take out rookie mode because they didn't want it to be easy. They took out rookie mode. Wake up. They took out rookie mode because they didn't want you to be able to play my career without upgrading your player. They are literally almost forcing you to upgrade your player just to play the main mode in the game, the, the, the raw mode of the game. Even if you don't go online or whatever, you're still gonna, I, I don't understand it, man. Like, y'all got to wake up, man. I don't know what we can do, man. But like I said, man, I don't care about this, them taking that away. I got the only two players I'm gonna make. Big Smooth, Sam Perkins, and Lil Smooth, Reggie Miller. That's all I'm making. I don't care. Obviously, obviously with 74 grand, obviously I'm not a, I'm not a party to what you guys are doing with you know what, what was happening with 74,000 and two players. Let me show y'all I ain't got number two players because y'all might be like, ah, 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 you might have more than one player. Look, I got 75,000 and two players. That's all I got. Both of my players in are almost 90. So we already know 
this is not something that I'm a party to, but it's just the mere fact that you prioritized blocking on people getting VC in Annie up or just playing Annie up. Maybe some people wanted to do it the legal way, like like Man Man was doing. Hey, maybe some people just wanted to go in there and play. And that, look, look, my career, I got two files, okay? I got Big Smooth and Lil Smooth. That's all I got. So check it out. Maybe people just wanted to go in there and just play and try to earn some VC. Because that's the fastest way to earn VC in the game. I mean, it's gambling, and that's a whole other issue. I don't even see why it's allowed in the game, because it's virtual currency. Virtual currency that you have to pay real money for. But you guys probably can argue in court that, no, nah, you don't have to. To get a reasonable amount, you got to pay for it. Are you crazy? And anyway, man, it can be earned by, by playing the game or whatever. So that's your argument in court. I already know this your litigation team and all that. It's technically not gambling because you don't have to buy the money. You can earn the money in in the in-game experience. And the and the money that you earn in-game cannot be used to purchase anything outside of the game. So you got it locked up in a tight little bundle with a bow. But if that's the case and it's not real money, why do you care about it so much? Huh? Huh? If it's not real money that can't be gambled and cannot be exchanged for goods and services, why do you care about it so much, 2K? Huh? Because it is real money. And you should lose that in, in, in court. But I don't want them to take, take away any of because I did enjoy going in there and slapping people because people just trash any. I stages with a real come up so because Jimmy McCome up right here Kurt Cobain he wants to go in there and try to get his player upgraded he probably has five grand on him right now he probably want to go in there and get his player upgraded he gonna come up in there with this 71 and I'm gonna slap I'm gonna I'm gonna say hey look over there the game is over with you've lost and now you're back to zero and I'm five grand richer so, hey, it is what it is, man. Playing with one away and all them guys a couple weeks ago, it, hey, it was fun. It was lunch meat. But it just is what it is, man. Like I said, I'm not surprised, 2K. I know that, that, that this is what you do. We know that you prioritize these things over everything. And like I said, if this wasn't real money, why are you so worried about it? I don't know. But it is what it is. Like I said, man, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We realize what 2K is on. We realize what type of time it's on. Hey, check this out, man. Hey, Jared, Jared. Jed uh, McDo right, right here, 61 overall, 70 overall. Check out all these guys, man. These guys want stage back today so they can get some money, man. You know what I'm saying? Let these guys get their money. Let these guys go to stage and get their head rocked over and over or whatever. Maybe they was counting on high rollers. You know what, man? I'm not going to even buy no VC because I'm going to go into high rollers. I'm going to win all day. That's probably what they were thinking. But guess what? You won't do it today because... Hey, October 26th, it is the 26th. You got two events booked, uh, you got two events booked on the 26th. Y'all double booked the venue, highly unlikely. We know you didn't double book the venue. You moved that back. You moved this here. You moved this here, and then you moved that to Friday because you're gonna patch this. I guarantee that when Annie Up comes out tomorrow, that's gonna be patched. And you know what, the only thing that's gonna be even worse, if we don't get that that patch five before this gets fixed, before, before we get uh, stage back, if we get patch five and, and stage is fixed, uh, you, you know, wh whatever. But if we don't get patch five this weekend and stage is fixed, oh my God. Because we could, we could probably be like, well, they just fixed patch five and stage. I mean, they fixed play, stage and patch five. But if we get, if we don't get patch five and this game is not in a playable state this weekend and stage is fixed tomorrow, oh my God, 2K. People are gonna be, you know what? The videos I'm gonna drop that y'all won't care about, it's gonna be crazy. Anyway, man, I'm gone, man. I have already talked too long about this, man. I have already ranted about this too much. It's just like, and I know this gonna happen. I know we're not getting the patch. I bet you, they probably, are, okay, so Common Sense would say that they pull stage so they could, pat, they could add that into the patch. They're gonna drop the patch and that patch is gonna come out between sometime between this to tonight and tomorrow before stage goes up. So sometime before stage goes up, that patch is probably gonna be out. But conventional wisdom and 2K wisdom says that, that patch is gonna be sometime Tuesday, uh, Tuesday of next week. And what they're probably gonna do is just stealth patch stage. And that's gonna be that. So like I said, either way, if, if they drop the patch, and, and if they don't drop the patch, but they fix stage, 
it, we already know what time they're on. But even if they, if they damn it, they do it, they damn it, they don't. Because if they drop the patch and in the patch, they fix stage and then they don't fix anything else, it's even worse. I'm gone, man. I can't talk no more, man. I know I already talked too long about this. Till next time. Hey, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla, we just want a quality game. Like, fix all this stuff, get your money, but nobody would mind giving you money if it was a quality game. It's just not. It's not a quality game. It's not really in a playable state. I'm gonna continue to play it. I'll continue to excel at it. Let me see that my jump shot. Let me see it. I, I can't even see that. I'll continue to excel at it, man. But hey, it is what it is. What am I shooting in here? I don't even care no more. I'm gone, man. Peace.